Enough small talk. Now hold me tightly. Don't you know that it's disgraceful for a man not to eat everything he's served? Uh, no it's not. How does that even apply to this situation right now? Man, I'd love to argue, but this doesn't seem like the appropriate situation to be arguing with her. What the hell am I supposed to do? I wish I could get away, but pushing her away doesn't seem right either. Because this beautiful girl did buy me for a million dollars after all. I'm Hisato Shirota. There's a lot going through my mind right now. Last night, my parents just proposed the wildest thing to me. Were we really skipping out of town tonight to get away from debt collectors? It was the typical story of how they signed their names as a guarantor for a loan and the borrower fled. I scolded my parents for not being more careful, but I found out something even more shocking. It was my grandparents that borrowed the money and asked them to co-sign. Oh, I'm going to have trust issues for a while. Good morning! This is my favorite part of my day. Oh, it's Miss Shiragane! Oh, she's shining like usual. Too bad I won't be able to see her anymore after we run away. Leon Shirogane was one of the most famous people at Yuki High. No, she's more of a global figure, I would say. On top of her beauty, she was also the single daughter of the prestigious Shirogane group. She wasn't one of those flashy and loud types of celebrities you see on TV. Quite the opposite. She was the type of classy girl that everyone admired and looked up to. Huh? Did we just meet eyes? I guess I better show my respects. <sighs> oh, did she just ignore me? Or maybe she didn't even notice me in the first place. Well, it's not like we've ever talked, so whatever. My last day at Yuki High finished just like any other day. I wonder if my parents have packed everything already. I'm home. What? Why is the room completely empty? Where did mom and dad go? Wait, did the debt collectors kidnap them or something? Huh? A note? Good luck, boy. Daddy and mommy. What? When have I ever called you daddy? No, that's not the problem. I guess they didn't include me in their plans to skip out. They just left me $300 in an envelope. But what am I supposed to do with that? Oh man, where should I go? Oh, a bunch of stray cats. How nice of them to keep me company. So there you are, you poor kid. Huh? Leon? And your bodyguards? What's going on? I've been looking for you. For me? Oh man, did my grandparents borrow money from the Shirogane group? How much did they? One million dollars. One million? What the hell did my grandparents spend their money on? Yes, I'm purchasing you for one million dollars. I'm so sorry, I promised to pay you- Huh? Did you say purchase? Yes, you belong to me now. Oh crap. My mind is going to explode. I'm so pathetic. I just blacked out at that point. Oh, this bed is so fluffy. And the chandeliers are so pretty. Where am I? Oh, you're finally awake. Leon? That's right. I was talking to her at the park before I passed out. And why is her face so close? Oh, you took care of me, didn't you? Thank you. Don't get the wrong impression. I didn't do anything. But you can rest. This is your bed now. Just as I had predicted, my grandparents had borrowed money from one of the firms that the Shirogane group owned. However, their businesses don't send out violent debt collectors. My grandparents had borrowed money from some shady people to pay back their loan. And they were being chased down for a ridiculous amount of interest. If they go to court, they won't have to pay most of that interest. But in the meantime... Their lives were at risk, so they decided to hide for now. And you belong to me now. Uh, I don't see how those dots connect exactly. I needed more time to organize my thoughts, so I asked her to let me sleep on it. Okay, good night. Wait, why are you sleeping here too? Oh, because this is my bed too. You belong to me now, so obviously we sleep together, right? Oh. Uh. Is that how these things work? Whatever, I guess I'll just go with the flow. I was nervous, but my brain was overloaded and just shut down. I fell asleep immediately. Oh, so you're not going to touch me tonight? <laughs> Alright then, good night darling. Her family said that they would pay my tuition. So the next day, I was still at school. 
I can't believe I'm living with that pretty girl. I'm getting all nervous all of a sudden. Like, seriously? Am I even allowed to live with her? Hey, Hisato, you look red. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? Uh, no, I'm fine. Everyone turned to look at me, but Leon didn't even flinch. If they find out about our agreement, then they might find out about your debt, right? I don't want any bad rumors going around, so let's keep our relationship a secret for now. So, nothing much has changed, but I still can't believe that she bought me. My first conversation at school with her that day was around the time that the last bells were ringing. She whispered in my ear as we were passing by. Come to the Yuki coffee shop behind school after this. Uh, okay. I went to the coffee shop as I was told, and there was an expensive car waiting there for me. A man in a suit came out and opened the door for me. Am I allowed to get a ride too? Yes. This will be our drop-off and pick-up location from now on. I feel bad. I can take the train. Oh, wait. Then I'll need train money. Actually, I'd like to accept your offer. Okay. I didn't notice, but she smiles to me when we're not in school. <laughs> this is exciting. I fell asleep yesterday, so will you tell me what I'll be doing from now on? I'll do anything. Okay then. First, you can start calling me Honey. Uh, honey? Yes, and I'll call you Darling. Um, I don't think I can do that. Hmm, fine. Then just call me Leon. I'll call you Hisato. Yeah, that's fine. But you're my boss now. If I'm like a butler, shouldn't I be calling you young lady or ma'am? And should I be speaking to you more properly? Huh? It seems like you have the wrong impression. How so? You aren't my butler, but there is something I'd like to request. Come here. Huh? The bedroom? Am I going to be making beds and cleaning her room? Okay, take a seat. Like this? Yes. Now then, bon appetit! Huh? Leon placed her right hand on my shoulder and pushed hard. I lost my balance and fell back onto the bed. Is this... Is this really happening right now? It's my first time, so take it slow, okay? W what are you talking about? It's kind of embarrassing to put into words, but... Your job, Hisato, is to make a family with me. What? Huh? Uh, family? What? I heard that when people hug and kiss, then a baby is born. Oh, jeez. Is she for real? Young lady, I heard some commotion. Is everything okay? Huh? Is he violating... No. You're violating him? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Enjoy your time. Hey! Help me out here! So... are you ready? Hold on! Stop undressing! Let's talk, alright? I got her off of me, and she finally started explaining the situation to me. I want to ask you to help me make heirs to the Shiragane family. Heirs? You mean children, right? You're still in high school though, and plus, are you sure you want my children? There's no time to waste. The more options we have, the better off our family will be in the future, right? We should start preparing now. Uh, is this normal in these kinds of families? Is that what you want though, Leon? Of course. That's my role as a girl. I don't like how she put that. It's like she's sacrificing her own desires for the family. Alright, I'll cooperate. I owe her for that money, and if I refuse, she might go ask someone else. I don't want that either. My plan was to pretend like we're a couple and buy some time, but... So let's get started then. No! You can't get away from me! Running is one of my strong points! I can't outrun her. I didn't want it to come down to this, but... Bodyguard! Help! What's going on? Hey! Don't get in our way! Please, get in our way! Uh, what should I do? A bunch of bodyguards gathered, and I was able to get away somehow. But the fight was just beginning. Hisato, ready to go to bed? Oh, I'm not even done drying my hair yet. Oh, that doesn't bother me. No. If I go to bed without drying my hair, my cuticles will get damaged, the pillow will get wet, I might start growing mold in my head, my IQ will drop, and I won't be able to run as fast. What? Really? People always have dried my hair for me, so I never knew. Oh, this girl must really not know anything. 
I was able to buy some time, but I wasn't going to be able to dry my hair forever. Good night. No, don't sleep yet. Let's kiss. Oh, she's so needy. She's cute, but if I let her do this, we'll end up crossing a line that I don't want to cross yet. Leon, listen to me carefully. Okay, what is it? Um, well, I want our first time to be the perfect setting. You know what I mean? Hey, Sato, I didn't know you were thinking so seriously about it. I'm so happy! I'll call the maids immediately. I'll have them set up candles and aromas. Oh, and a cute Nijali too. I'll do the preparations, so can you just wait a little longer? I want our first time to be memorable. Okay then, I'll wait. Whew. Now I'll be able to sleep safely for a while. I go to school with Leon, but pretend to be strangers all day. Then we go home together and I spend all night avoiding getting intimate with her. That was my new daily routine. Besides the fact that Leon lacked some common sense, she was an ordinary girl. We would watch popular TV shows and cry together. When we would play games and she would lose, she would get frustrated, and it took her time to choose out what to wear when she was going out. I'm sure that my other classmates have no idea that she has this whole other side to her, but I can't sleep with her yet. That's one line I just don't want to cross yet. So, how are your preparations coming along? Uh, I'm planning it out thoroughly. I see. There are a couple companies in our group that plan and execute events. I can introduce them to you. No, this is important. I want to plan this on my own. Fine. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, I feel bad for lying to her. But this was a big turning point for both of our lives. No matter how much I like her, I didn't want to take it lightly. And besides, Leon is just trying to do this out of some sort of responsibility she feels. I can't let her do this as some sort of job. Good night, Hisato. Yeah, good night. Oh, she's so cute but I refuse to put my hands on her. She's important to me. Besides, there's probably someone better suited for Leon. Leon is a beautiful princess, and I'm just a plain boy who's deep in debt. We live in totally different worlds. But something happened a few days later. We adjusted times as usual, and I got to school a little later than Leon, and noticed that she was surrounded by her girl fans. Miss Leon, why are you coming to school with that punk? Did he threaten you? Did he force his way onto your car? You can tell us. We'll deal with him. Yeah, that plain and introverted jerk will pay for riding on your car, Miss Leon. Calm down, everyone. Oh, crap. Did they find out about me? Luckily, they only saw me coming to school with her. I can still make up a good excuse for this. Oh, the plain introverted jerk. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, I just ran into her on my way to school, and she was nice enough to offer me a... He saw to lives with me. What? what?! She just told them all without even hesitating. This guy... lives with Miss Leon? Ah! She passed out! Oh man, everyone is so confused. What should I do? I've asked Hisato to live with me as my partner to procreate the heirs to the Shiragane family line. <gasps> I learned that when everyone is in shock at the same time, silence ensues. Also, the humans subconsciously avoid things that they don't want to accept. Hey, can I copy your homework? Again? Let's play baseball, Isano. Oh, everyone isn't as surprised as I thought. I thought that I would be pressed for an explanation. Um, can you just keep your mouth shut for the rest of the day? School ended peacefully, but things back at home were crazy. What are all these boxes? They're just piled up to the ceiling. Well, young lady, we've been receiving gifts from the heirs of many prestigious families from all over the world. What? Chief Maid, more flowers! Oh, damn. It looks like a flower shop in here. <sighs> more gifts? So basically, the world found out that Leon was ready for an heir, and people from around the world were approaching her. I was eavesdropping on the maid's conversation, and I heard the names of the most handsome guys from the biggest companies around the world. Throw them all away, or send them back. What? They're such expensive gifts, though. All right. You heard the lady. If it's too much trouble to send them back, split them amongst yourselves. You can feed the letters to the goats. Are you sure? There's that giant doll you've always wanted. I'll take that. Oh, of all things, that one? Leon was silent that night. She was just staring at the ceiling in bed. Um, good night. Yeah, good night. Oh, good. 
At least she said good night. I just want to make it clear that I don't plan to hug or kiss anyone besides you. Huh? Because, well... Hey, why are you crying? I'm here if you need me. I, I like you, Isato. Uh-huh. You may not have noticed, but I've liked you ever since we were in the same class. You are the only one who didn't call me miss or ma'am and treated me like a normal girl. It wasn't something I did consciously, but Leon must have been sick of everyone treating her like a princess. When she heard that I might be leaving the school, she thought up the plan to purchase me. I was tying you down with money. It's so terrible, isn't it? No, I don't hate you for it. Because I like you too, Leon. Really? Yeah, I mean, how could I not fall in love with you? You're such a wonderful girl. A girl? Yes. To you, I'm just a girl. It might be better for my family if I chose one of those rich boys from prestigious families, but I chose you, Hisato. Thanks for choosing me. I'll do my best to become a guy who can live up to everyone's expectations. The kiss came naturally. Her lips are so warm and comforting. I can fall asleep like this. Huh? This is the perfect setting, don't you think? This is exactly how our first time should be, right? Hey, whoa, slow down. Let's take things. Enough small talk. Now hold me tightly. Don't you know that it's disgraceful for a man not to eat everything he's served? Ah, uh, no it's not. How does that even apply to this situation right now? A pathetic boy like me against an aggressive princess. I'm sure you all want to know what happened. Sorry guys, I plead the fifth. Oh, they're such a gorgeous couple. I want to be like that someday. At first, our classmates were taken back by how lovey-dovey Leon was. But eventually, everyone started treating us like homecoming king and queen. Oh, by the way, the courts ruled in favor of my grandparents and their debt was cleared. My grandparents are excited about meeting their great-grandchildren. Twenty years after this, we were offered a TV series about our huge family.